Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I've got Ezra's two week update. So I'm gonna go through his update as well as how I'm doing two weeks post birth and I will also show you my postpartum belly shot. So, hmm. That one should be interesting. So anyway, I'm going to start off with Ezra's stuff first and then I will end with how I'm going. So let's jump to it. So I'm going to link his birth vlog down below for you guys as well as his birth story just so I don't have to go through all the nitty gritty details. So I'm going to link those below if you want to go check those out and see them. Um, that'll give you a bit more insight on how my delivery was and how his birth essentially was. Otherwise this video is just going to be way too long. So anyway. If I look over here, Ezra is just laying on the bed next to me, but he is exactly two weeks old today. I still cannot believe that it has already been two weeks. It's absolutely crazy. So, uh, first week was a bit of a blur. Um, just getting back and used to getting up several times a night. He's not particularly good at sleeping at night. <laughs> I think he's got his clock actually no he doesn't have his clock back to front because he just doesn't sorry he's making weird noises um sleep particularly well uh which we're not used to we've had two children who have been fantastic sleepers so i guess it was our turn to get a child that isn't awesome at sleeping uh he sleeps well during the night probably every third night and then we get really bad nights like last night he didn't go to fall asleep until about 11 o'clock he then hopped up at one and then two o'clock and then stayed awake at two o'clock for like two hours until like 4 a.m. and then went to sleep and then woke up at 5.30 and stayed awake. And it is currently one o'clock in the afternoon and he has probably had since 5.30 this morning, maybe like three 20 minute sleeps. Yep, so I'm tired and it's hard when you've got a toddler to run around after and you know, you take care of and still spend time with. But, you know, we're getting through a system and I've still got to do school runs. So, yeah, I mean, it's hard and we're getting there and, you know, and then sometimes he has really good days. Like the other day he had like a three hour nap in the afternoon and I was able to kind of catch up on some sleep and do some housework. And yeah, you know, you just, you just got to do what you got to do. He's not a fantastic sleeper. He's currently sleeping in bed with us. I'm transitioning to his cot as we speak. So he had his two 20 minute sleeps in his cot today. So I'm going to put him in his cot tonight. You can see that in the background. It's right next to the bed. So he's still like right there, but just not in our bed. I'm wondering if maybe he might sleep better in the cot. Like he doesn't, he's not like right up against me smelling my milk he's a bit of a booby monster he um just wants to feed like all the time um i'm demand feeding so you know some days like i literally ha like feed him every 20 minutes it feels like i feed him like all the time he's getting quite chunky he was born at um 3.62 kilos he then dropped like 150 grams and then gained it back um, at his seven day checkup he was like 100 grams short of being back to his birth weight i'm pretty sure he's well and truly past his birth weight i haven't gone back to the doctor to weigh him because i'm fairly confident he's stacking on weight i feel like i change like 20 nappies a day i completely forgot about how often newborns crap and wee so um He's starting to crank a little bit. So if you hear him in the background making noises and yeah, so that's Ezra. I will show him a little bit later. So yeah, as I was saying, and he's going to start crying. So now Ezra is going to be part of the video because he doesn't want to lay on his own. Um, so what was I saying? Changing nappies. Yes. 
he poops and wheezes all the time. So, um, yeah, I know that he's getting milk in him because he poops and wheezes all the time. Oh, and he just did a burp. So that's probably why he was stirring because he needed to burp. He's also quite gassy. He farts a lot and he burps a lot and he's quite hard to burp. He suffers a little bit of wind. Um, so, but you know, nothing too crazy. He's found his voice in the last few days. So he's starting to like really cry when he wants to cry. He doesn't cry very often. There's been a few scenarios like in the car where, you know, I just couldn't stop. And I mean, he wasn't hungry, but he just didn't want to be there. Um, and he screamed for a little bit. And we've had like a few like situations where he's cried, but generally, um, yeah, he's pretty good. Um, he does have, uh, baby acne, like newborn pimples all over his face, um, which is a bit sad. But the doctor said that it doesn't bother them. It just doesn't look very nice. And it's just a combination of like hormones in my milk. And it's quite hot here where we live. So the humidity and he's probably sweating kind of aggravates it. So we're just trying to like bath him and use really natural products and keep him dry. Like, you know, um, he also tends to like spit milk out when he's feeding because he just likes to sit on the boob. So when he's getting milk that he doesn't really want, he just wants to comfort suck. He's like dribbles it out of his mouth and that's running down his chin and that kind of aggravates it as well so we're just trying to keep that dry um but you know apparently just kind of clears on its own again something that we didn't experience with the other two kids so you know every baby's different every you know everything's just so different he's got a head full of hair as you can see i'll turn him around in a minute um, so yes, as I said, I'm demand feeding, breastfeeding, so that's going really well. He latches really well. Um, I think he's looking for more boob now and I literally just gave him one side like 15, 20 minutes ago. Um, this is the story of our lives. So, um, Jackson and Lucy are very smitten with him, especially Lucy. Apparently it's her baby. So, um, no, they're, they've been fantastic. Um, they've adjusted to him being in the house and being around and taking up some attention really well. I was a little bit worried about Lucy and sometimes she can get a bit jealous when Luke is holding him. She'll all of a sudden go, I want daddy cuddles, I want daddy cuddles as soon as she, he picks him um, up. But besides that, they've adjusted really well. Um, what else is going on with you, buddy? Yep, he's awake a lot. Apparently newborns are supposed to sleep a lot, but mine doesn't. But he's so damn cute and he looks like his daddy. Whoa. And his neck is so strong, guys. He, like, does tummy time and he can, like, fully pull his neck up. He has also rolled onto his side on several occasions. And one day I found him on his back when I had put him on his stomach. So he's rolling and he moves around in his cot. Like, today I laid him down in the center and he'd wheeled his way all the way up the top. He's crazy, crazy strong. Again, something we didn't experience with the first two. So this kind of movement and wiggling and at two weeks old is just absolutely crazy. He's super strong. Um, but he's yawning. You need to have a nap. You need to have a nap. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's basically Ezra the last couple of weeks. He's, he's fitted into our family so perfectly. Like, at the same sense, I can't believe he's here, but on another note, like, I can't imagine life without him already. Like, he's just fitted in so perfectly. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's odd, but hey. So, I'm just trying to soak in all of these newborn cuddles and newborn experience. It is our last baby. So, I'm just, yeah, I'm enjoying it. So, hey, babes. Hey, baby. You're going to be our last baby? Okay, let's show. Oh, he's not happy. Okay, so this is little Ezra. Hey. You want to say hi? Hey. Oh. Oh, and you're going to cry. No. You can't cry for your job. You can't cry for your job. I don't know if you can see. Can you see all these little... His little pimples. Oh, it's a big yawn. And he has so much hair and it's very fair. A lot fairer than Lucy's. Hey. Was oh, you happy? 
Are you happy now? Oh, and we also got our newborn photos done, which were fantastic. I might shoot a couple of sneak peeks up here for you to have a look at when I get them all back. Um, I'll share those with you as well. But yeah, they turned out really good. Hey, hey. Okay, now me. Uh, post birth, what am I, two weeks post birth? Yes. Uh, I'm still bleeding a little bit, not a lot. I did have quite heavy bleeding the first two days. Okay, little man. Um, the first two days. But yes, it's really subsiding now. I've only got like a really little bit of bleeding. I forgot how annoying having your period was. I haven't had my period in God knows how long. And so, yeah, that was quite bizarre and annoying. I forgot how much I hated it. And... Yeah, my milk is good. My back is sore. I got an epidural this time. Um, first time I've ever had pain relief. And my back is still really tender. Um, I had a few complications with it. Um, go check out my birth story and that'll explain everything. Um, but I had a few complications with it. And my back is still really sore from it. I'm going to actually book an appointment with the doctor and just make sure that that's normal. Um, no one ever kind of told me that I'd still be getting back pain, you know, um, two weeks later. So I don't know if that's entirely normal. Um, my pelvis is still kind of hurting. I guess it's going back into its original spot. So that's quite annoying. Whew, now he's happy. He's on the boo. He's a typical boy. So, um, yes, what was I saying? My pelvis is kind of hurting. Um, this has been the hardest recovery out of all of my kids. So, yeah, it's been a little bit rough. Like, as I said, my back is hurting, my pelvis is hurting. Um, I still feel, like, really stiff. It's weird not having my pregnant belly. Um, and, yeah, so just... I don't know. It's definitely, you know, I felt fantastic when I had Lucy. Like, a few days later, it was like... But she was a lot smaller. Um, Ezra was eight pounds. Lucy was only like five pounds something ounces. She was under six pounds. So, I mean, he was a lot bigger. Um, I stretched out and my pelvis stretched out a lot more um, with him. So, and you know, I guess I'm older. That might play a part in it. But, um, God, what is with my hair? Uh, so, yeah, generally, yeah, it's been not that great but i guess it could be worse what are you doing um yeah so healing is taking its time but hopefully i'll eventually get there and yeah i mean there's nothing else to really report my milk has come through i talked about bleeding i talked about my back what else that's about it emotionally i had a few down days the first week just you know overwhelmed by you know now having three kids and having to do a lot of stuff on my own and you know I kind of got mum guilt with Lucy not going to daycare anymore and you know worried that I wasn't going to stimulate her as much as daycare was and you know I wasn't gonna have enough time for her so I kind of went through that transition but no we've done pretty good I've tried to do like an activity with her every day like you know um go down the park we play with play-doh yesterday we baked brownies the day before that um we're gonna go to the park this afternoon as well um I've got some paints in the cupboard so I'm trying to kind of do stuff with her every day to keep her stimulated we brought a whole bunch of like sight word cards so we've been playing with those and we cleaned her room today which she loved um so yeah it's it it's yeah i got a bit of mum guilt um with that but yeah other than that we're all doing really well so i'm gonna check back in with you guys maybe in a month i might do these like newborn updates every two weeks let me know if that suit you guys i mean i can do them weekly i mean they do change pretty quick but it's completely up to you guys um if you want me to do them weekly i can um otherwise i'm thinking every two weeks and then kind of go from there uh yeah so anyway let's look at my postpartum belly i'm going to try and put him down he took like five sucks and got over it um so i'm just gonna put him down on the bed and let's show you my belly okay so this is two weeks postpartum so i've still got a little quite a bump and it's like a weird bump it's all like in this 
little section here. It's starting to firm back up. It was really like, and you can still see my line. So it's still quite jiggly. But you know, it's not massive. I'm proud of my body for carrying him and he was a big bubba so, but I'm fitting back into my shorts. Like, oh, he's not happy. He's not on the boob. But that's my belly, guys. And I'm going to have to attend to the baby. Okay, so that didn't last long. He's back on the boob. Um, so, yeah, that didn't last long. Anyway, I'm sorry about the angle. I hadn't had a chance to move the camera back up. But, yes, that's my postpartum belly shot. Oh, in terms of weight... I weighed myself one week after Ezra was born and I was 61.5 kilos um, when I gave birth to him. I started out at 48.5, so what's that, a 13 kilogram weight gain. And when I weighed myself from the hospital, I was, well, a week out, I was like 55 kilos. So I lost like half of my weight. Um, so yeah. I can't say like I'm just eating regularly and obviously I'm not exercising yet, but you know, I'm pretty happy with how the progress is going. So yeah, anyway, thank you so much for sticking around and watching this super long video. Um, and I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Don't forget we are uploading Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays every week. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. And yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome day and I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.